Uganda deliver. Talk about a, a nation delivering there. You got Joshua Cheptegei winning it. You have Kip Limo in third. And then in between them, Stanley Waithaka Wyth- uh, Mburu um, ran really well. So Borega, not there. Aragawi, not there. Mohamed uh, was in the mix. This was a really chaotic last couple laps. And Grant Fisher of the U.S. almost got a medal there. He ends up finishing fourth. But you talked to Chepta guy afterwards. What did what did he say? He's just he's on such a tear right now. He's always in the mix. Ran so confidently too. Like did some leading and pushed it from from the front. Yeah, he he has a very this sounds kind of weird like a peaceful vibe. Yeah. Seems very calm. He's very calm. Is really even keel. Doesn't really have any crazy like excitement highs or really down lows. And I think it's because he keeps winning. He keeps on that helps. breaking records and you know, it, it feels very smooth for him. Like it, it, there, it's just, even the way he runs, he, he, I always thought he kind of runs like a Kipchoge in a 10K. He, his, his arm movement is very like peaceful. He has a very Kipchoge vibe, which I kind of like. But uh, we did ask him if he's gonna try to break some world records later this year. He said, he laughed and said, no, um, I think <laughs> he's like, no, nope, nope. But uh, I'm sure he's happy because there was a little bit of a doubt. He didn't. Yeah. He didn't win that diamond league. Was it a three k or two mile? What it was? He lost to the refugee athlete. No, that was that was Kiplimo. Oh, that, that was, was Kiplimo. Kiplimo. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, Chepta guy ran that world record time trial race here and didn't really run that well. Yeah. And, and then Aragawi right. ended up running faster than him yeah. the next day because we had to do two five thousand. Sorry, but, I got that wrong. Anyway, uh, uh, I've only been watching track for ten years. Gordon, you. A decade. Listen, I didn't mean a decade literally, guys. When I was said, Gordon has been paying attention for a decade. I meant that to explain he should have the background knowledge, should not know that Usain Bolt's record's not going down. Not he's only been watching for 10 years because he hasn't literally. Anyway, uh, Fisher right there, just hey. just missed. So here's the issue with this. It's it's like, is he ever is he going to get that medal, right? He's been close now two years in a row. The problem is there's like always somebody there, yes. right? Because you have this... You know, Mburu is up here. Like we hadn't, he wasn't really on our radar, right? He, is he going to develop into a guy? Is Borrega going to have a better race the next time? It's so tough to to predict medals, which is why you know you give all the credit in the world to to Chalimo, like the recently the U.S. guy who's been able to get medals because it is hard because it's not like oh I'll just wait till Chepta guy's gone and then it's my turn. In the interim, there's a new person, yeah, right, who, who's right right there, but. Fisher, I think, will eventually get one. Maybe it'll come as early as the, the 5,000, although that would be a, a big, big story if he did that. Because he just seems to always put his nose in it, at least the last two championships. He hasn't had a really a bad race in the three Big Time Championship races he's run. I mean, he needs to prove, right? He was fifth at the Olympics? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. fourth here. You know what goes after? Fourth, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Third. He'll be third in 2023. Yeah. He'll be second in 2024. Yeah, and then he's gonna win the 2025 <laughs> world title in Tokyo. Grant Fisher, 2025 world champion. That's I how just it said, works. I just said it's not linear, and then you just describe the linear progression. To 